Mabuhay, magandang buhay, mabuting tao. Mabuhay, mabuting tao, magandang buhay. Welcome to Mabuhay Channel. I am your vlogger, Linda B. Basilio Rindon. Now, uh, I have decided to feature about pointers about beginning teachers. Okay, this one of my topic as a resource speaker last time in our uh, course 5, the deep ed teacher. But I would just like to share also the uh, pointers to beginning teachers, which I really uh, concentrated on the kisabs. Okay, the kisabs. What is this kisabs? Okay, K S K V and S. So the kisabs. We have the kisabs. K subs. Okay. K stands for knowledge. So a beginning teacher must be equipped with knowledge about the particular subject area he or she is teaching. It might be math, English, or Filipino, AP, ASP, MAPI, PLE, or science, whatever. He or she should be a graduate of this course in order that there will be an effective teaching because you cannot deliver the right or the effectiveness of the teaching unless you are a major of this subject which you are teaching okay that's knowledge next is we have the skills so dapat may kasanayan the teacher uh, to deliver what is kasanayan it is uh, the mastery a uh, skill is your expertise in any given area or in any given ending or whatever it is the subject or specialization which must be calibrated by the teacher or the facilitator of learner of as a facilitator of learning especially in our contemporary time okay the next is the trade that's attitude okay attitude so attitude of a teacher or a facilitator of learning is very important as a beginning teachers whether yeah, you are a positive person or a negative person, whatever it is, your, your attitude towards your workplace, towards your co-teachers, towards your, uh, your stakeholders, the parents, or, or the learners. So the attitude is a factor for the success of learning output. The last is values. Okay, what is values? Values or pagpalaga is anything you consider good. It is any experience that you consider as good, desirable, accepted by God and society. So the teacher, as a beginning teacher, you must be equipped. You must be enveloped, engaged with the right values. And how do we know that the values that we have is uh, acceptable in the society and God? Okay, the values, anything considered good, or kalugod-lugod, kasiya-siya, katanggap-tanggap, kanais-nais is values or pagpapahalaga. What are the criteria in order that you will know as a beginning teachers that the values you have chosen is good or check or appropriate or desirable? One is, one criteria is, you are going to ask your question, how have I chosen my, my option or my values out of other alternatives? Okay? So, is it... Uh, is it uh, among the alternatives? There are options. Option, like for example, whether um, you are, you are going to select. What I'm going to select? I'm going to continue my study, or masteral, or not. And what are the other choices? Okay, uh, I will just remain as uh, in my bachelor's degree. Okay, there should be option. My pagpili and choosing alternatives in order for you to arrive your right values okay for number two is uh, the question is have i chosen my values freely ito ba ay aking napili na uh, ako lang pumili nobody forced me okay so it there should be a freedom in choosing your values whatever uh, you have chosen in your life making your decision okay have i chosen it freely okay that's the question that you are going to make sure next is um how did somebody made a feedback that what i have done is good 
dati, mayroon pa nagsabi na what I have done ay tama, maganda, appreciative. Okay. This is another measure that we are going to to evaluate that the values we have chosen is correct. Okay, another criteria that the values is desirable, no other than this one. Have I, have I made uh, actions repeatedly to prove my chosen values? Nagawa ko ba ng paulit-ulit itong uh, napili ko na pagpapalaga sa buhay? Or did I do it only once? So if you are doing it only once, so it's not values. It's not the uh, appropriate one. Okay? So those are the criteria that uh, I'm sharing you. So you can uh, you can also uh, have your chosen values. But above all, the criteria is, have I received advantages? Will the advantages outweigh the disadvantages? Okay, you are going to ask that question. The, the advantages will always overpass or oversurpass will outweigh the disadvantages based on your choosing values. Okay, just like what? Uh, as a teacher, you know, every day we are facing challenges, this issue of like, uh, are I'm going to leave this learner past my subject or not? Okay. So what are, what are the advantages if you're going to allow the learner to pass the subject? What are the uh, disadvantages? What are also the advantages if you will not pass the student? Okay. So in order to determine the, the advantages outweigh or surpass the disadvantages, I suggest that you're going to write in a piece of paper the evaluation. Okay, write it down if I'm going to sign this one. Write this one. What are the advantages? What are the disadvantages? If I make another decision, what are the advantages and, and the disadvantages? Okay, so uh, there are many, many instances that a teacher is confronted with this uh, decision making in our everyday life in our workplace so always concentrate not only perhaps the beginning teachers but also those like me i'm already on my 40 years teaching service i started teaching june 1982 but my permanency was only given to me august 16 1983 but still i'm on on my way to my 40 years of teaching, but if you're going to count when and how I have I started teaching, I started here in 1982. And there are many learners who are already my co-teachers now who can prove that one that I'm already working as a teacher here in 1982. Okay, so uh, these pointers for uh, beginning teachers, especially just like now. I'm experiencing my learner's love. Many of my students are now achievers in far away land, as far as uh, other continent, Europe, USA, uh, North America, Asia, and other countries. I never asked them to pamper me with, uh, would you believe? Without my asking, they are uh, sending me cash in kind, like lipstick, shoes, okay. The, the dress or any anything uh, that they would be sending me, including one sack of rice, been receiving that one. And take note, I did not ask for that. Once the, they were able to zoom in or in Facebook, wow, mom, you're still alive, alert, awake, enthusiastic. Mom, I'm already having my three jump shop in Cavite, in Pasig, in Manila. So tomorrow, ma'am, claim this cash and giving you this one. Um, I really would like to share my blessings. Okay, so this uh, perhaps the learner really um, emphasized or they really have realized that I have been a part of their life. I just do not know, no? Uh, what uh, made them look for me on Facebook that I'm still alive and they're, they're sharing their blessings. And uh, if I did not uh, able to have uh, a highlight or 
what is this a part of their life now, probably they will not be looking for me. It's a deal. Okay, so we always love our learners and uh, we do not immediately judge them in as much as they have also their problems. We should ask them what are the background, why they're absent, why uh, they're not performing in our class. So let's have also uh, the effort to ask them, to interview them, including their parents. Okay, so I'm just concentrating on the results for the leading teachers because uh, this matters most. But if you're going to rate these uh, uh, pointers, for me, the number one is values, okay? It's not knowledge. The values of the teacher, especially the beginning teachers, okay? Second is, of course, the attitude. Whether he or she is positive or negative, especially on workplace. So the workplace, we should always uh, accept whatever the advice is of our superior. Okay, that's one, no? Attitude in the workplace. Okay. So for me, um, first values, second attitude, and the third one, balikad ang pag ko. Skills, okay. Your expertise on your field should be the third one. And the last, knowledge. Of course, knowledge is power, but knowledge would be nothing without the other factors okay so may i repeat kisabs kisabs uh, beginning teachers don't forget that one to uh, envelop in yourself and also we in the teaching profession that is uh, already on uh, two scores four decades like me and 40 years in the teaching service we still need to embrace this one kisabs okay so the subs is knowledge, knowledge, the knowledge, skills, attitudes, and values. Okay, these are my uh, sharing uh, as uh, on my uh, four decades teaching service. So thank you for listening on my vlogs. Uh, I just hope I have shared something worthwhile, amazing to to all of you who are viewing my. Um, my blood. Okay? So, uh, remember, a teacher is always a teacher for life. Okay? Whether you retire, the teaching, you are always a teacher. Thank you for watching my blog. Mabuhay, magandang buhay, mabuting tao. Mabuhay, mabuting tao, magandang buhay. Thank you for watching. Mabuhay, magandang buhay, mabuting tao.